Hi. How are you doing? Okay, I tried to when I tried to go ahead and make it as uncomfortable and creepy as possible, but um, then it started to feel a little bit too normal, and I was like, "Am I really that creepy and you know, un, like uncomfortable to be around?" So I went ahead and go back to my normal voice. What's up, everybody? Uh, this is your boy Devon Da Vinci, the original Renaissance man, and right now I'm gonna be reacting to a video that actually piqued my interest quite a bit. Um, this uploader's name is Mood Z M O O D Z I. Uh, he has a ton of Dragon Ball Z videos, and he has a lot of little factoids and did you know and uh, facts about characters and things from Dragon Ball Z. So I went ahead and looked into something that uh, really interests me. One of the things that I liked about Dragon Ball Z, or in this case Dragon Ball GT, was the design for the new Super Saiyan, uh, Super Saiyan 4. Um, it was obviously completely different than all the other Super Saiyans. Uh, it had a more of an intimidating, primal look to it, something that really like spoke out to me because all the other uh, dra uh, transformations, the only thing that really happened was their hair would get a little bit longer or they would get a little bit more muscular, but there was no real defining features that separated the two other than Super Saiyan 3. But um, Super Saiyan 4 was definitely one of my favorites. One of the few things that came out of Dragon Ball GT that I actually... Uh, made me feel good because that series was just shit. Like, th 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 there's no punchline to that or anything. There, that, that, that bottom line, that, that series was garbage. But um, this video, it looks like it might be kind of interesting. Ten facts about uh, Super Saiyan 4. Um, let's go ahead and see if there's something here that we don't know because there's a few things I'm guessing is going to be in here. Um, the fact that Akira Toriyama helped with the design in a way, or... Nah, the dude designed uh, Final, uh, Super Saiyan 4, and Akira Toriyama kind of, like, endorsed it by making his own, like, little tribute to the character and stuff. Um, I know he did do some parts in Dragon Ball GT to help out, but let's, let's go and see what facts are on here. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Muzi, and we're back at it with another video. And this time we'll talk about top 10 things about the ultimate Super Saiyan 4 transformation. So without further ado, let's get right to it. That's the thing I don't get about Dragon Ball Heroes. They have Brawly. That the Super Saiyan 4 form was designed Super by Super Saiyan 4, but he's big. He should be small. However, that is not true. And while Toriyama did well, not small, come up with the title and a little bigger than his Super Saiyan GT, form, such as Goku, Pan, and Trunks along other planets. However, he had no involvement with SSJ4, as it was actually designed by Toei Animation character designer Katsushi yeah, that's what I was thinking. Katsura, who has made most of the Dragon he Ball just, like, character endorsed designs it and, liked and was it. praised by Toriyama himself in being able to completely master his art style. In fact, on the Dragon Ball GT DVD box set, Toriyama draws his own Goku Super Saiyan 4 as an appreciation for everyone who supported Dragon Ball GT. This is, even the Super Saiyan 4 looks like it's kind of comical. In an interview with Katsuyoshi, when asked about the appearance of Super Saiyan 4, he said the design is supposed to emphasize on primal power, while also making a connection to the Saiyan roots. The color red on Goku's body represents power and strength, and the wild shift and change of SSJ4 compared to the previous SSJ forms indicate that Super Saiyan 4 is the ultimate Super Saiyan transformation, as far as GT con was concerned, of course. Also, Katsuyoshi tried a golden Super Saiyan 4, However, he didn't like it much and decided to stick with black hair. If he would have done that, he would have just like. There are only three people to in total who achieved Super Saiyan God in the Dragon like Ball that. GT series. First being Goku, of course, Vegeta was second, and lastly, their overpowered fusion makes a third Super Saiyan 4 character, who is none other than Gogeta. However, if you want to count video game characters, then two more achieved Super Saiyan 4. One being Gohan when he fought, um, Super Android 18, uh, because why not? And the second Super Saiyan 4 video game character is, uh, Broly. Yeah, Broly should be Broly. small. I don't, I don't get how he's like legendary Super Saiyan, but... Super Saiyan 4 at the same time. It is generally accepted in the Dragon Ball community same with that the Super, Super Saiyan, Saiyan 3 is a form. 10 times multiplier from Super Saiyan 3, meaning that Super Saiyan 4 grants the user a 4,000 times boost in power. However, this general statement might not be true, as most fans argue that Super Saiyan 3 Goku could not compete against Baby whatsoever, to the point where Baby was throwing him around and going as far as tanking Goku's punches. 
However, after Goku goes Super Saiyan 4, the table turns around completely in favor of Goku. In fact, it's not until Baby Vegeta becomes a Golden Ozoro for him to be on equal grounds to Goku and compete with him. And since the Ozoro form was confirmed to be a 10 times multi multiplier of strength, that means Super Saiyan 4 has to be more than that. In fact, the GT Perfect file states that Super Saiyan 4 is actually a limit breaker rather than a multiplier where the form raises Goku's power to his utmost potential, and if you think that's impressive, Goku has a stronger Super Saiyan 4 state, which is called Full Power Super Saiyan 4. This form was entered when Goku takes the power of Gohan, Trunks, Goten, and Pan, and becomes a much stronger version of Super Saiyan 4, letting him easily overcome Goku as big as shit as a Super Saiyan 4. <laughs> An interesting thing is that when Goku goes Super Saiyan 4, his clothes changes compared with his child clothes, including his size, as he becomes an adult again, because Yeah, I never reasons. got that. But while he does regain his adult form, Goku loses and his he's shirt. he's not gonna explain it. Also, his sense of fashion becomes quite different, as his socks, belt, and wristbands become blue, whereas the wristbands were originally light red, and the belt and socks were white. In addition, Goku's belt loses its knot, and the hanging ends in the front. Also, when Vegeta goes Super Saiyan 4, his clothes also changes from his normal attire. In addition to losing his shirt, his gloves also become full gloves when they are normally fingerless gloves. Yeah, those are some tight and ass while we're jeans. On the subject of clothes, Don't apparently understand Super how the hell he Saiyan 4 can those. actually repair his clothes as seen in the Super 17 saga, when Goku attempts to sacrifice himself in order to take out Super 17. But after the fell attempt, Goku reverts to his child form and his gi was fully intact despite the fact that it was damaged previously. Now, who needs God form when he can do that stuff? Out of all the Super Saiyan transformations, Goku Super Saiyan 4 has the highest kill count, killing Baby, the 7 star dragon, and Ice Shenron. However, despite these kills, his kill count still pales in comparison to the people Kid Goku killed in the original Dragon Ball. Yeah. Did you know that the American voice actor of Goku, Sean Shemmel, passed out from screaming while recording the transformation to Super Saiyan 4? Here's the deal. I never ever passed out in Dragon Ball Z. But I did pass out in Dragon Ball GT. GT, not Z. And it was during the Super Saiyan 4 transformation and I was really tired and I... And these are excuses, I don't care that I'm... <laughs> These are excuses, I really don't care about you. <laughs> it's interesting to note that Super Saiyan 4 makes the user develop a more powerful version of the just have him do like a 5 second screen and just loop it. Kamehameha, uh, 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 and Vegeta being able to use a two handed final. This sound like a Street attack, Fighter defeat. Where he was originally seen using it with one hand only. In Dragon Ball Xenoverse, when playing with Goku Super Saiyan 4, there are some interesting special quotes and dialogues. Kakarot. What is that? What is that? I'm pretty strong this time around. I'm not scared of you even if you make a scary face at Boo! Make me get serious. Come on. You look strong, but still not good enough to fight me. <laughs> You sure talk big. I won't lose even to you, Grandpa! <laughs> I'm not just cool. I'm also strong. This power is Dad's. The hell? What's going on? D Dad? Is that a new form? This is my ultimate form. Super Saiyan 4. How about this, Vegeta? Super Saiyan 4. <laughs> Impossible! <laughs> How about I this, Vegeta? It. Super Saiyan. So this is your true power? Four. Whoa. Even <laughs> I'm surprised by this. It's a bit different from your God form. What is that form? It's Super Saiyan Four. Notice how Beerus' character just turned his back to him like that form. It's wonderful. I think you'd make a perfect God of Destruction. Stop it. Hmm. It's not for me. Well, Goku, do you want to taste the power of the ultimate android? Then I'll show you the power of the ultimate Saiyan. <laughs> so that's the famous Super Saiyan 4. Ah, when I'm Super Saiyan 4, 
<laughs> Why is there that pause right there? Six thousand degree heat won't hurt me. I shall run. I'll beat you in ten. <laughs> no, five seconds. Five seconds? Okay then, I'll count for you. Sin Shenron, I'll be your opponent. Opponent, you say? More like annoyance. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was kind of a bad line. Super Unlike Saiyan. the Super Saiyan 3 form, the Super Saiyan 4, 4 state does not require <laughs> much ki to sustain, and due to the utilization of the form, Goku does not experience much strain, which allows him to stay in that state at a much longer duration. But while its ki consumption does not strain the user himself, it does become more straining when used in conjunction with the fusion dance, which significantly shortens the fusion time limit, as evident by Gogeta defusing with 10 minutes instead of the regular half hour time limit. And it also appears that the form makes the individual larger in height and muscularity in scenes with Goku standing next to others, such as Gohan, Goten, and Trunks. Goku appears much taller and bulkier than all of them, even though in his normal state, he's relatively around the same size. Yeah, that's what I was saying. He's definitely more bulkier and taller. So what do you guys stuff. think? Did I miss an important fact? And do you like Super Saiyan 4? And do you think we should have a new Super Saiyan 4 in Dragon Ball Super? Even though that's probably impossible. But anyways, I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy cool. it, then you should probably check out the video I made last week where I talk about the things you may not know about Super Saiyan God. Or maybe if you're interested, you can watch my top 10 overpowered special abilities in Dragon Ball. But overall, please remember to like the video. I would appreciate it greatly. Comment and subscribe. Peace. Okay. Yeah, next we're going to have to check out the Super Saiyan God video. I think that's. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> well, that's Goku Super Saiyan 4. Uh, one of the best things I like about it was the fact that his personality changed so much too. Like, he wasn't as much about like. Well, I guess Goku was never really humble when it came to fighting, but. Super Saiyan 4 definitely brought out even more of that, like, you just can't hang with me attitude. As a matter of fact, um, I've been telling you guys I'm going to go ahead and do some art on this channel. Uh, some videos where I'm, I'm, I'm going to call it a Let's Draw. So, I'm a, I was going to do some Let's Draw videos. Um, I'm thinking about making Super Saiyan 4 Goku my first Let's Draw video. So, that's something you guys can look out for. Um, it'll be up soon. I'm going to have a gameplay video up real soon. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll probably end up recording at the same time I do these. It's just whether or not that'll take longer to edit or not, it'll just depend on how well the recording goes. So um, that's really all I got to say as of right now. Um, let me know what you guys thought. Leave comments down below. Let me know if, how, what you thought about Dragon Ball GT and Super Saiyan 4 in particular. If there was anything that you might have liked about it, if you didn't like it. Um, if there was something else you would have done with it, uh, whatever else, uh, be sure to let me know what you guys want. Um, be sure to request what type of videos you want me to react to next because I will be reacting to fan submitted requests, you know, every once in a while, usually uh, one a day or one every time I record. So, um, you know, there's that. Make sure you subscribe, like, uh, you know, share these videos, try to expand the community and everything else. And that's really it. I'm going to go ahead and move on to another video. And that will be Devon Da Vinci, the Renaissance Man, or the original Renaissance Man. I will be moving on. Peace. I'm not doing the fingers. I did the fingers last time by accident. I, can, I need an outro, goddammit. Tell me what type of outro you want. Please, I need an outro. That's all. Peace.